Good morning. This is Katie Robinson Edwards, the Umlauf Curator, coming to you live from a secret location. It is Wednesday morning. We're going to post this video later, but I thought today would be a really good day to have a very close look at a Charles Umlauf sculpture and that's what we're doing right now that's why the camera is facing away from me but if anybody is looking at this try to figure out what it is it's a rather large sculpture you can see here I'll give you some scale that's my hand going over some um, folds in it which gives you a little bit of a hint we'll come on around well, look at this. Here's a, a curving area. You can probably see some of the context and we'll pull back in a little bit. But it's really wonderful to look closely at this giant Umlauf sculpture and see all the details in it. We'll come back to them. I'm gonna pull back a little bit and show you something down here. Aha! Aha! That is a foot. And look at how huge that is. That is my entire hand by one toe right here. And the foot hangs over the pedestal, which is also made out of bronze. This whole sculpture is made out of bronze. And let's pull back a little bit and see where we are and talk a little bit about this piece. We are on the University of Texas campus, which is closed for the most part. I've had my mask on just until now. And we're actually in front of the McCombs Business School, right here. And this is Charles Umeloff's family sculpture that was uh, made, was actually part of a whole bunch of works that Umeloff was doing in the early 60s. Once the University of Texas campus realized that they had a very well-known sculptor who was getting a lot of major commissions and had just done the Dallas Love Field Spirit of Flight Commission in 1960, the University of Texas decided to start commissioning works from him and they did quite a few here. They didn't commission that squirrel, but he's... I fed him earlier so he wants something to eat. Um, but they commissioned the family group to go in front of the McComb School of Business and it is 15 and a half feet tall and was cast in Milan. Now, Umlauf began to cast in Pietrasanta, Italy uh, in 1959 to do the Spirit of Flight, but it was actually pretty expensive even in Pietrasanta, so he would get the Milan foundry to compete for bids and in fact if we look back at this one let's see if you can see this you can barely see it but at the bottom you can almost see a little letter o milano it's the fonderia battaglia in milan and it was the first major group that he cast there and umlauf went there in the winter actually december 26 1961 to do the final touches on this huge sculptor. He had sent a scale model over before that. Um, and then they helped enlarge it and he came and did the final touches and he finished everything up in wax. He would have put his signature on and here's something else interesting about the signature. So it's C. Umlauf. It's such a large piece that he did it in, you can see there's a slight relief here to the signature, but there's a funny detail here and maybe you can come see it yourself sometime. He actually put a period after the F, as if his name was Umlauf Alupa or something, and he just finished it off. Um, I'm not sure why, but wonderful signature here on the back, and let's see where that's installed here. So here we are looking back toward the Perry Castaneda Library. It is an enormous sculpture. And on the front, finally ditched our squirrel friend, he'll be back. On the front is this statement, the family group by Charles Umlauf. The family is the foundation upon which the world of business is built and it is a vital force in the local, state, and national economy. That statement was in fact written by Charles's wife, Angie Umlauf. 
She was a poet, she was also a sculptor, and she's the one who wrote the text for the plaque, and she also wrote a number of poems, and I brought one with me today. It's raining a little bit, so I had to shut everything up. Um, the Umlauf family published her book of poems under the sycamore, and she's written one in there called Into Eternity. With two deft hands you modeled in clay and carved in marble and alabaster, head after head and figure after figure, as fervent as you, the sculptor who gave them form that had life and is sure to live forever and ever. And this sculpture that we've been looking at is, gosh, 70 years old now almost, um, and, and doing beautifully. It actually was recently restored, and I wanted to show you a couple of things from the book. So this is from the 1980 book on Charles Umoff by University of Texas Press, and it looks so tiny in the book. You can't, you cannot believe how large it is. And then, this is how it looked the year after it was installed. So this view that I showed you earlier, the Macomb School of Business, the southern entry, actually used to look like this, and they moved the sculpture too. It used to be the Business Administration School. So you can see how things have changed over time, but fortunately, and luckily for the University of Texas, they have maintained this gorgeous sculpture, and we hope that you'll come see it sometime. We'd love to take a tour with you. Uh, send us a note if you wanna come walk UT campus and look at all the Umlauf sculptures, and thanks so much for tuning in. Bye-bye.